Hey everyone, welcome to JLake 3D. So today we're going to be working on an electronics enclosure and it's a fancy looking one and has lots of pins, uh, probably more than it should. But let's go ahead and start off by with a square starting from the center. And then we're going to draw some lines diagonally to make a pyramid. If you've watched my short on how to make a pyramid, this will be really easy. So we will go ahead and extrude to the bottom first because we need a base and let's just see what kind of sizes work that's probably too thick so let's make it two again uh, then we just need to extrude one of the pyramid sections and then we will go ahead and make that a new body and use the move tool to lower just that edge and we're going to copy it over by 90 degrees and then we're going to select both of them and copy it over by 180 degrees all right now that we have that we can union everything together And this, this is the easiest part of the whole process, but let's go ahead and move on. We'll go, we're gonna go ahead and fill it those edges. And the sizing doesn't really matter too much. We're just giving you an example of how to do it. But uh, in this case, that's what works. And then also you can't um, chamfer these edges all together. So we're gonna have to do them one at a time because sometimes the math just is too complicated, I guess, for it to work, but it works one at a time. So it can figure it out. And we're gonna just go ahead and go all the way around with the same way. And then once we have that, we need to fill it those edges as well. So there's there's a multitude of different styles that you can do. This is just the one that was requested to be shown how. Uh, and I, I was playing around when I was figuring this out and I made a ton of really awesome looking electronics cases. So this is just like one of many. And so next we move on and we make my famous circle which I use for cutting away and planes because this is the easiest shape to draw. And we move that up just a little bit so we can cut off a little bit of the tip. So we just pull up and then we select the same circle and we select that edge and we go down to make sure that we have the shape that we want. So in this case, that's too much. Let's go ahead with two. So 2.5. And now that we have a great looking thing, let's go ahead and fill it everything to make sure it looks wonderful and like a finished product. And obviously I'm not working on internals this time just because uh, that's up to you. I don't know what you guys are putting in these boxes, but I'm showing you how to make them. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it them however they look good. That's probably too thick. That'll make it look like a toy more than a professional product. But on the top one, since it's a smaller and thinner edge, we need a bigger one. So now that we have that, it looks great. Let's move on to uh, embossing some text. And since this is my project, I'm gonna put my name on it. So let's go ahead with JLake 3 d and uh, I always like to align it in the center when possible, but we have to also make this smaller so that it'll, it'll fit on the box. But uh, let's go ahead and center align. And then I like to make it bold, just for 3D printing, it's easier to print. And uh, now we have to move up the text so that we can project it. Because uh, projecting on the same layer makes it difficult, so I don't like to do that. But it's a piece of cake to just move it up a little bit. And now we choose project and we make sure it's imprinted body edges, not sketches. All right, now hide the text. Uh, we don't need that for now. Select all of the uh, embossed letters, or imprinted in this case, and we lower it by however much you feel like is a good number. So in my case, I just point one in this uh, specific box because I made it pretty small. And then I also like to um, fill it or chamfer the edges when possible, just to make it smoother and it looks better. And uh, we will try to do the whole way, but very often it doesn't like to do that just because it's right on the edge there. So what we can do is make it 0.8 so it's easier to edit later. And at the same time, it still looks good. Uh, so this is probably the best way to go when you leave a little bit of a square gap there and you can always delete it later. Cause like if you do it all the way to the edge, it's hard to delete. So now I changed some colors and I didn't show you that part, but it looks professional. I like it. <laughs> I hope you like it too. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.